with Firebase Firestore, we don't need to set up a backend server or worry about the server configurations. Or even we don't need to set up dirty XML HTTP requests and headers. And also Firebase Firestore is real-time, which means we don't need to set up socket for real-time updates. You can see that it is real-time. And any change in data is immediately applied everywhere. And also Firebase is cross-platform and work well with web, Android and iOS and other platforms. Alright, let's create a Hello World Firebase Firestore app with Vue.js. First, go to the Firebase console. Add project. Then create a web app. Install Firebase from NPM. Then copy this and paste it here. Go back to console and look for Firestore database. Create database. Select start in test mode. But before proceeding, let's know about collections and documents. Actually, Firestore database is no SQL database and there is no table here. Everything here is collection of documents and each document must be in a collection. For example, we have a root collection for foods. And this collection contains pizza and burger. Pizza and burger are documents here. And pizza also can have some fields. Icon and a boolean for free delivery. And pizza can have veggie and meat collections. And these collections contain documents. Alright, let's go back to our app. Let's create a simple CRUD. Create an input for add a text to database. And we need these tools for work with Firestore database. Then get Firestore database. Now let's create add new message method.
or add a document to a collection use add doc first parameter is target collection and second parameter is the document all right let's check it now go back to firebase console and you can see message here now i want to show the latest messages here With this query, get the all documents in messages collection, ordered by date field. Then pass this query to on a snapshot. Then define an array for messages. Now put documents array in messages. Snapshot.doc is an array. And here with map, we make each item into our desired form. Then put this subscription in live messages. And finally, we must unsubscribe to the query when the component is unmounted. Now we can loop through messages. Actually on snapshot will give us real time updates and will run and take a snapshot by every change in the target collection. Let's create update and delete methods. You can see real-time updates here. Use set doc to replace a document with a new document. Message ID actually is document ID. And we made it here by doc.id. Let's create delete method. Use delete doc to delete a document by ID.
You can see real-time updates here. And the link of this stack blitz is in the caption of this video.